Welcome back, everybody, and welcome back, James, to <laughs> system.text.json, STJ, and everything you ever wanted to know about it. Okay, James, you know, I know, at least what we do, uh -huh. everything is always 100% perfect. Oh, but, absolutely. But sometimes in the wide, wide world of the internet, our JSON that we get might, might not be perfect. There might be just some weird stuff in it. Yes, often, you know, when you're dealing with JSON, you do expect it to be in the perfect format with the perfect casing and line up exactly. Now, we yeah. talked about different casing and different missing things from the JSON and how to handle that. But sometimes I've noticed that in JSON, people like to do wacky stuff. Like yeah. Put comments or maybe they, I always put like extra commas and things like that in it. Mm -hmm. And that can be bad pretty much for parsing because, yeah. again, you they're expecting perfection. And when it's not perfect, it blows up. Yeah, I mean, I like putting comments. I mean, sometimes the comments definitely help. Yeah, and but yeah, you're right. The parser is very strict. Yeah, as you would imagine. And I've seen before, like where people add comments because the names of the JSON uh, properties are really crazy, like W and A and A U S Q or something. I don't even know yeah, what that means. Yeah, I mean, right. So they add a comment in there. Yep. But system text JSON has you covered. STJ. STJ. Let's go ahead and take a look. So let's take a look at this JSON here. And we've been working with this weather data, and there's a few things that actually Visual Studio Code is telling us are kind of weird, like comments are not permitted in JSON, and hey, over here there's a trailing comma in the JSON. That's not good. <laughs> and this is still kind of somewhat valid JSON. Right. I mean, you can tell what it wants to convey, yeah. right? It's like yeah. commenting my code and just whatever. Why would we make the JSON feel bad? Yeah. Let's use it. <laughs> but there's a lot happening here, right? There's different types of comments with slash slash, with a slash star, mm. on multiple lines that are oh, coming yeah. in here. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's just say I go to my program where I have this weather data, and I say read all text from this file and deserialize it. Let me just go ahead and F5 this puppy and see what happens. Because again, we're expecting that this JSON should just kind of ideally work out of the box. Yeah. And no. Uh oh. No, because it's not valid yeah. JSON. Right. Te technically, it's not valid JSON. Yeah. 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 But what if you can't control this, right? If you just have this file and it's coming from the internet, you kind of get to get around this. You can't mm -hmm. go back and say, "Oh, please, person, go change yeah. all of your JSON." And you definitely just can't manually check everything. You know. Exactly. You, yeah. Maybe if you have an intern. Yeah. It'd be <laughs> quite hard to like read this, parse the string, and then yeah. I mean, yeah. You, it. I mean, just yeah. Exactly. So you can ignore a bunch of this stuff, which is kind of cool. So we're going to head over back into the code, and we're going to write some options here. And our good friend, new JSON serialization options will come to the rescue. Mm -hmm. That's the most amazing class <laughs> in the world. Ever. Yes. <laughs> so first things first, there's tons of stuff inside of here that we've talked about already in several videos, and we'll put them down here in the down at YouTube. But the first one, allow trailing commas. Check this out. There it True. Is. The, a trailing comma is this trailing comma. This is a trailing comma. There's yep. nothing after, right? So it's right. invalid. Just, just hanging out, trailing, just hanging out. Now, we can allow that, but we can also say read comment handling. Uh, and this has a disallow, skip, or allow uh, mm -hmm. option in here. So this is basically saying, you know, what do you want it to do? And there's different options here. We'll yeah. link to documentation, but we basically just want to skip it and yeah, say, just... ignore it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's all good. So let's now go ahead and pass this in. I'm just going to say options. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and run it again with F5. And we have a little breakpoint here so we can read mm -hmm. this and take that JSON string, deserialize it back, and what do you know? Ta-da! Ta-da! It's all there. Nice. So all of our JSON stuff is there, and we're totally good to go. Cool. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Cool, cool. Yeah. Now, go back to our JSON string. Perfect. All right. So now. Now, I've noticed a lot of in JSON. Yeah. Sometimes, like right here, we have temperature Celsius 25. Yes, 25. Super, super. Well, it's actually pleasant, huh? 77 Fahrenheit? Yeah. Anyways, okay. 25. A lot of times I've noticed, though, 25 might be in quotes. Like uh, everything might be a string. Yes. Right. So if I did something like this, for example, yeah, we don't know. We, we would think that this is a string because it is kind of a string here. Yeah. But really, we know that this is an integer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, SystemTextJSON has it covered as well, as you would assume. <laughs> and what's important here in this case, right, when we're, we're looking at the comments, we're really just reading it and deserializing it. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to this, you may need to put the data back onto the server, right? So yeah. you might actually need to yeah. read 
and write basically numbers as strings. Right. And we can do that. So I'm going to come back over. I'm going to save this file. So we have it here. And um, let's just change it so it's not 25. I'm going to change it to 30. Right. Okay. So it's like so. Now we know it's a different number. So yeah. I'm not, not yeah. playing games. Right. Um, I'm going to go back into my program, and we're going to add one more option down here, mm -hmm. which is number handling. Mm -hmm. And there is a bunch of it. It's specifically that, yeah. in system text JSON serialization. So I'm actually going to just bring that up here. I'm going to say using system.txt.json.serialization. And we've been using this a lot with the serialization options, like all those little attributes. That's where right. those are. So we have strict. We have allow reading, write as a string, allow named point floating literals, right? So if you're doing with uh, floating points, for yeah. example. So NAN, for example. Here, what we want specifically is allow reading from string. So we're going to yeah. allow it to read yeah. inside of it, right? So um, let's go ahead and uh, F5 this again. And now, what we should see is the exact same thing, is that we're saying, hey, this is a number. We want to parse that down. And sure enough, there it, goes. There it is, it 30. It. Yep. Now, let's say I didn't have that, right? I should have just kind of run it in, in general. So if I now hit F5, in this case, where I don't have any handling at all, um, it's not going to know what necessarily to do mm -hmm. because um, it is a string. But we've said in our class that it's an int, yeah. so it's invalid. Mm. So it actually to throw an exception here right. that it can't it can't parse it. So if we put that back right there, now when we run it again, it's going to say, "Hey, like in this case, we'll ensure that you know we can parse those things um, as an integer." There. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Now, because I'm a little bit curious, what happens if in the JSON it's actually an int? Like we got rid of the quotes, uh, but we left the um, a while reading from string. Oh, yeah. So you yeah. put this back here. So just to make sure that either way works. Yeah. Right? So, so we, we go back there. So yeah, 30. Yeah. So again, if I go back in, now that I've saved that file, hit a 5 again, it's going to know that it, it's a, it's allow reading, right? Yeah. It's not It's not a it's not gonna, must be. Yeah, scenario. must be a string. Yeah. So, it's, so now it's going to know. You're just being super safe. Exactly. Don't trust the author of the, of the string coming in. Totally. So. And now if you did want to write it, you could also pipe that and you could say, um, um, write as string. So oh, you could cool. say read and write. So you could nice. reuse this options uh, as well. So those, that's what you'd want to do there. Awesome. There you have it. Easy peasy. Yeah. So all that invalid JSON out there, whatever people are messing around in mm -hmm. there, system fix JSON, STJ. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's yeah. cool that you can take. I love the comments. And sometimes, you know, you get a little funny stuff coming back with trailing commas or whatnot. Yeah. And all that too. There you go. Love it. All right, well, that's going to do it for this System Text JSON video. We have tons of videos here on the .NET channel. And of course, we'll link to all the documentation below. If you like this video, give it up. Thumbs up. Damn that subscribe button. Ring that notification Ding. bell. Become part of the notification squad where you get updated every single time we put out a video. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of On.NET. I'm James. I'm Matt. And thanks for watching.